To begin with, fortunately, two prominent flat earth theorists, two prominent flat earth theorists who have both appeared on Patricia Steer's Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes have recently released a video demonstrating quite clearly that light does indeed bend. It is a Uh, as to state the following. Light can bend downwards in a medium like the Earth's atmosphere. If the claims in the video are true, then it defeats the entire distant objects argument in one fell swoop. Suddenly, even if it is the case that both premise 1 and premise 2 are true, it is entirely inconsequential, because another premise on which the conclusion depends is not true. If light bends, then this can explain why objects can be seen at distances which rudimentary mathematics suggests they should not be. Light seen by an observer and or his recording equipment may bend around the Earth as per the known properties of light refraction and as demonstrated by the video uploaded by those two flat Earth theorists. Or, in more simple terms, if one accepts that light bends, especially if they accept that light bends towards the Earth, then the entire distant object argument is refuted. One cannot simultaneously hold that light bends and that the distant object's argument is sound unless one is willing to hold two contradictory beliefs at the same time.
No. Mr. Bowden, people see lighthouses at night time. You trying to tell me at night time that a, 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 a yacht will see a lighthouse and a man standing on a shore will see the same lighthouse, that the light will bend and they, these people will see the lighthouse in three dimension and it will bend the light around the curve of the earth? Really? At night time, Mr. Bowden? You see, lighthouses were built for night time, not for the day. And people see sh buildings and ships above the horizon at night time, Mr. Bowden. So your light bending nonsense is just mindless trash. You want us to believe that the light will bend that flying pig around the curve and place it in a position above the horizon so that you can actually focus it with your telescope? Really? Are you that stupid? You're a brain-dead mannequin.